Hello everyone, this is Fiona from SchoolNet greeting you and welcoming you to a series of webinars from past winners and finalists in the Microsoft Partners in Learning Forum. Today we have Natalie Meerholz from Holy Rosary School in Johannesburg presenting highlights from her project. Natalie's project is called e Waste Away. Natalie was a winner in South Africa and she achieved a winning place at the Middle East and Africa Finals in Jordan in 2011. This enabled her to participate in the Global Forum in Washington, D.C. The aim of this project was to raise awareness of e-waste and to encourage the school and surrounding community to address the issue. Activities included e-posters, creating e-advertisements, reusing e-waste in the form of sculptures, and inviting various stakeholders to talk to learners at an e-waste launch. An e-waste bin was set up at the school to encourage responsible e-waste disposal and recycling. So, thank you for agreeing to present this webinar for us, Natalie. Over to you. Hi, everybody. We just need to do a sound check. I keep on losing connectivity, so I just need to check if everyone can hear me. Wonderful. Uh, thanks, Caroline. I think my... Um, I hope this doesn't mess up the recording, but um, for some reason my, I keep losing connection. So we'll just keep going, and if it gets too bad, then maybe Fiona will just stop it. Um, I think my presentation is still loading. Is that correct, Fiona? Still going through? Um, I'll just start talking anyway, because um, it, it's not loading at the moment. Um, for an art project, I just... I think one, one bit of advice that I could give anyone was that um, choose a topic that makes you tick, something that you feel passionate about. I just found that the passion and the passion that you have on a particular topic will often resonate into your project and will keep you and give you the momentum to carry on. Um, when I first started my project on e-waste, I thought I had a really, really great outline and sound planning to my project. But um, I think the reality of my project was that as it gathered momentum, some of the planning I had to just throw out the door. Um, and I had to go back to the drawing board and just readjust and rethink and reinvent. So, you know, the most ideal planning never sometimes works when you start projects like this. Um, the initial project that I had a look at, um, I had to implement from grade four to seven. So I was looking for a topic where um, I had to have four different activities, but on the same theme. And I wanted to um, almost create a whole school cu culture around the problems surrounding e-waste. So it was quite a challenge for me initially to find different projects for the different grades, but again on the same theme. Um, I can't see my presentation, so Fiona, if you can move it, that, that should be great. Not a problem. Um, my project, um, in my planning, um, I, I, I completed the, the modules, I completed the, the project in modules, so I saw one class from a grade every term. Um, so by the end of the year, I was able to see every class in, in the senior primary. So Hi, it looks like I'm back online. I'm really sorry about that. I think um, <laughs> I'm just going to talk really, really quickly because I'm having terrible connectivity problems at the moment. Really, we did a whole school campaign on e-waste um, where we got outside companies involved to sponsor us, the likes of Incredible Connection and Miss Earth. And um, we created an awareness campaign. Our incredible connection and, the, and one of the recycling companies that came on board, um, they sponsored a huge e-waste container at the school so we could get the children to start collecting the e-waste and it was something visible that they could see, which was really, really great. On the slides in front of you, you'll see some of our, our sponsors, um, which allowed us to run competitions in the school. We were, we were able to run digital competitions and we also create, um, ran an art competition um, where the children made art pieces made out of electronic waste and very fortunately enough Incredible Connection sponsored us laptops for the prize winners so we had a lot of fun with that. We also got the children to go out the classroom and we did presentations 
um, in the junior classes in the school. We also went out to a neighbouring school and we gave them a talk about um, about e-waste. And one of the highlights was really going to um, to a organisation DHL, a company. We hijacked their management meeting. Uh, we had a bit of an inside contact, which was great. But we, you know, we we took a, a group of grade five girls and we went to present to DHL on um, on e-waste. And it was just such an excess success and so different for the girls to, instead of doing the traditional speech in the classroom, they actually went out and did those speeches, which they would have got English marks for, out in the real world. And I think it's just about taking learning out there and making it real for the children and giving them some real life experiences. Um, I think that was that was really, really a highlight. So we did many activities. We, we made radio jingles. We... Um, which we actually sent to some of the radio stations, but unfortunately they didn't um, hear them. But um, we did it anyway, and we made movies about e-waste, and we made presentations and posters, and we used a range of of, of software. The girls also made um, made games out of a program from Too Simple called DIY, where they actually made games, which we loaded onto our website. Um, that we designed especially for e-waste, where other children in the school and parents could log on and go and see what the children were doing about e-waste. So again, I think it's really about your passion. Um, this really got got me going. I was so motivated, and I think um, it, it's just been so exciting and, and just so wonderful to be involved in these activities. Um, a lot of skills were covered. Um, I'm not going to mention them all. I think they're on the skills on the on the slides, um, but a lot of artwork and a lot of cross curriculum work that we did. Um, we also had fun. I don't know if you can see it on the flyer right now, but the kids actually um, made flyers, and we went out and we did a neighbourhood drop, which was actually amazing. And we went out into the streets and they put all their flyers in the post boxes. They really enjoyed that. I think anything to get out of the classroom. Um, there's just a picture of our website that we did. Um, I found this very good because the kids were able to blog and put information about e-waste that they had found, which we used in other projects. So that was quite worthwhile. There's just some of the blog entries that we used. Um, um, the children actually dismantled a lot of the e-waste and they used that to create something else. Um, and they used that in their art projects, which was really quite fun. And for all girls school, quite strange that you know these girls never use tools. So you can see in some of the pictures that they were actually using these tools to actually dismantle the e-waste. Um, the collaboration was huge, but I think you know the, most of the collaboration came in when the girls had to go out into the workforce and actually present their presentations, and they had to each do something in that presentation. So without each other, collaboration wouldn't have happened. Um, it wasn't just a case of they making their own presentation and they really had to work together on that. Um, knowledge building, when we started this project nobody knew. Nobody knew what e-waste was. And so I think it's been a huge um, learning curve for the school and I think the community as well which has been really great. Um, as I said already we've extended it out the classroom. I think taking the kids out of the classroom um, onto the streets um, into other schools. I think that really made a difference. Um, also, we um, uploaded all our all our digital work um, that the girls had created um, onto the Incredible Connection Facebook website. So that was open to the public, which was really, really great. Um, and we could get hits and other people were commenting about their work. And um, that was really nice for girls to see outside people commenting on their work, not just people from the school. Um, I think the change has come in this project is that we've changed the school culture and I think that's that's what it's all about. Um, there has been a change. I think you can ask anyone in our school right now, what is e-waste? Everybody can tell you. Electronic waste. What do you do with it? Put it in your bin. Hi, Amina. I can see you there. <laughs> um, here's some of the artwork that the girls did. A um, lot of Hi everybody, sorry again about the connection problems. Um, I have absolutely no idea where we've got off, <laughs> where I stopped. Um, but I just really, if I can just reiterate that we've had a lot of fun with this project. 
Um, I think all the slides are there if anyone wants to go and look at them in more detail. And if you have any questions, um, I really don't know what slide I'm on, uh, Fiona, at the moment. I think I've been disconnected so many times. Um, just that we, we, we had a lot, of, a lot of experience with this. And there, the last slide I think that I can see right now, um, we've actually collected eight tons now. So our project is actually gaining momentum, even though we have stopped it. And I think it just goes to show um, the work that the children have done. And, and we've been successful in what we've set out to do. We set out to create an awareness campaign within the school and the community. We wanted to become a, known as an e-waste collection point at our school, and that's what we've done. And um, it's just great to see that the e-waste is still pouring in. So um, that's it. I think um, I hope you can still hear me. Um, I think Amina's saying that there's no sound at the moment. But um, the slides are there. If anyone has any questions, like Fiona says, I'm sure you can contact me through Fiona. It's not a problem. Um, just find your passion, because your passion is what's going to take you through your project. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, Nat. I admire you for just carrying on after all those disasters. <laughs> Shay, every time it happens to me, I get so flustered that I don't know where I am or what I'm saying. So. That was Natalie Meerholz from Raholi Rosary in Johannesburg. We'd like to thank you very much for your presentation, Natalie, and for pressing on despite your connection problems. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>